guys coming back to you again just wanted to bring you um, a little prestige video uh, I was playing with some buddies and there's my buddy Schmick right there he hadn't prestige yet I was like come on in he's like I can't I said I'll see you on the other side see you on the other side he's like I'm gonna go drop a care package so I went over here and I was just looking around before I went over to the guy here just checking things out, looking around the map. No supply drops. Let's see what this is. Ah, okay. Plans and maps. Where we're going next, huh? But guys, I wanted to bring this prestige to you. This was my first one. I, of course, I'm a 30 something now on first prestige, so I'm just slowly, casually going through the game. I'm not trying to race through it and and this weekend, guys, it's double XP, so make sure if you got the game, go ahead and play it this weekend, level up. Add attention, soldier. It's time for inspection. Time for inspection. Hold on, let me go inspect something. But yeah, um, what I was going to say was uh, right now is a good time to play uh, with your divisions that you normally don't use and go to war mode and level them up real fast, and that way you can get prestige on each one. Time for another promotion one. already? I love a job, soldier. Prestige level one. All right. Class lot of extra class. You have the options of a few rewards, soldier. Can't do without, and you can make it a permanent part of your kit. Or maybe you want to try something new and break old habits. Hell, you can even tear off your stars and get back in the trenches as a private, private. if you're inclined to do things the old fashioned way. All right. Well, guys, that was that on the prestige, and that's how it kind of works. You just go up there and talk to the old boy, and he'll set you up, and you, uh, Get you an unlock token to use for whatever. And like I said, I used it for the bar. So we're jumping into uh, USS Texas. This is uh, the eighth map of the nine. The last one I have to do is flank, flank uh, I call it flank tower, but it's flak tower. But um, I'm going to go with the mountain division just to have a little fun with sniping. And I like running the PPSH. I like running the basic training. Uh, use two primary weapons and swap weapons faster because it allows me to handle them up on close quarter ranges and uh, with the PPSH and then longer range with the uh, sniper rifle. Now they had an update last night at about 1.30 and uh, it was uh, nerfing a couple weapons. Uh, it nerfed the bar and I think the FG42 a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, and also it nerfed the, uh, or, uh, the uh, I think it's ordinance or something or whatever when you, uh, you've been pinged by the enemy. Uh, that's not ordinance. I have to check and see what it is. But it, it did nerf that from 10 seconds being pinged to 6 and then you can only be pinged by bullets, not by concussions or or uh, stun grenades or concussions or regular grenades, for that matter. And you only stay on the radar for six seconds instead of ten. So that's good. Um, hopefully, uh, like I said, as the next few weeks go on, they find a few more things they want to tweak and turn, you know, make this a even better experience because, like I said, the more – the better the fun is and the more fun you have, the more you're going to want to play the game, right? So that all goes hand in hand, and uh, that's all part of it. I kind of did get a little aggressive here. I shouldn't push up so far. This is my fault, and I'm going to probably wind up dying. I got a trip mine kill. Yeah, you're, when you're up in their spawn, it's no good ever comes out of it. Um, this is why I don't like to get in the spawn. I like to get in the spawn because you get more kills, but I don't like getting in the spawn because of the fact that someone's chasing me on the left. Now, where are they at? You should see them by now, you know. Wait. Man. 
ran by so quick. There he is on my right. I'm not great with a sniper, guys, so my gameplay is definitely not going to be good with sniper rifles. I'm just trying to level the mountain division up and play with a sniper just to kind of get familiar with it. Really and honestly, the only two maps I snipe on is this map and uh, Gustav Cannon or whatever, that big cannon in the middle of the map. Those are really the only two boards I snipe on, and uh, I've already got my 100 kills with this, uh, this Lee. Uh, it's not the most deadliest sniper rifle out of the bunch by any means. Uh, but I've just gotten used to the way the sights look on it. And they just kind of work for me. Uh, I usually get a lot of hit markers with it. But I guess it's part of that gun's flaw. Every gun has to have a flaw. Unfortunately, with a sniper rifle, having hit markers is not a good flaw to have. So I got up here. He was trying to take out our people in the spawn. Now you see it's a big old USS Texas is a big ship, man. That goes way back there. Man, should have pulled a long time ago. He's dead already. But I like the maps overall, man. You can play close quarters. You, you go inside the ship. There's a lot more closer quarter engagements. So if you, you want to stay away from the sniper alleys and the long LMG alleys, come down here and play uh, and play down inside the ship. It's really tight quarters. It's really good for shotguns and uh, SMGs mostly. And like I said, just stay in here and, and work in, on the inside a little bit. Now, I push up, and this was a stupid thing to do, as you'll see right there. I get a couple UAVs just to help out the team. Um, nothing, nothing spectacular whatsoever. Again, I just wanted my goal is to get the nine maps uh, on my channel right away, so that way y'all can see and what they're about and. Uh, and then from there on, I'm gonna do. I've got some other um, ideas that I want to do on the next few videos coming up, and uh, just kind of like a tips and tricks type thing that kind of work uh, that I found that works, and I'll be talking about it more in the next few videos to come. Um, don't want to spoil it what it is and what we're gonna be talking about, but I will be doing some demonstrations in the video. Uh, on some gameplays and just doing the the exercise to show you uh, it does work pretty good oh man trip mine there now I like to go down here and snipe but there's a dude up there boom okay, didn't land on me I see. I'm cha challenging long lines of sights with an SMG. Is stupid. I should have. There's a. That. I'm telling you, man. Them trip mines are lethal, man. I've. Oh, good. Quick scope now. See there. There you go. There's your quick scope. But, man, I was still hurt from the other guy when I challenged him. But guys, I wanted to get this map out to you. I hope you enjoyed the maps and stuff. I, I think they're a lot of fun. I mean, there's probably one or two that I'm not big fans of, but you know, overall, the maps are really fun. Oh, that was stupid. He caught me while I'm putting my trip mine up. I get a little aggressive, man, and I, you know, it's never good. Oh, good shot. I got two or three hit markers on him. Dude's rocking the red suit. I told him he's on the right side. There he is. Come back, come back, man. There he is. Payback. King Slayer. He was up in our spawn. He was going to try to kill us off our spawn. Put that trip mine here. Rinse and repeat, guys. If it works, go right back to it. Don't deviate from it. Nothing. When I look down lines of sight, I don't have that good get, that good timing, you know, that good timing when you pull the sniper out and someone's just sitting there waiting on you. Victory. Well, 
We finished this one up. Uh, look at my boy Rage. Rage went 35 and 8. Turn up. My boy Schmick, my brother Alex, and my other brother Paul. So it was me, Alex, Paul, and uh, my boy Schmick, and my boy Unta Uncaged Rage. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up, and I'll be getting another one to you. On time, I'm out.